Hey there my hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I do put out from you moving forward. As you can see from the intro, we have something super special going on today. I know you guys have never seen anything like this before, so I'm so excited to get started with you here today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, what I'm doing to start out is, of course, I'm cleaning my tray out. Um, I got this mold from Amazon and it came a little bit dirty to be honest but hey it's you know amazon i kind of expect stuff like that from time to time but it's nothing that's going to affect the outward appearance of my casting so you know whatever what i did was to start out i took my paintbrush and i'm just dusting some gold mica powder into the corners um i started in the corners and then from here i just went ahead and prepped my resin and I'm going to get my gold flakes and my mica powder as well. Now I add the mica powder with um, about 40 milliliters of the resin and I'm also going to add in some of this opaque alcohol ink because I do want to make sure that it's nice deep rich purple color and I don't want it to be very see-through so that's really the purpose behind that and here I'm just adding in the rest to make that 40 um, milliliters and then I'm just gonna put that a little bit more um, mica powder in there because it wasn't deep enough and I'm just gonna stir that up just a bit more you want to make sure it's mixed very very well from there you're going to go ahead and add your clear in first onto one side and then from there I added the purple into another um, I do kind of work you know kind of going back and forth but not too much with them because I want the um, colors to kind of stick where they're at and whatnot um, I want it to be like kind of a clear line of where the difference is with this particular project so that's the purpose of that from here i'm just taking my gold foils and i'm using a popsicle stick and i'm just going to go ahead and place those in there using the popsicle stick i want them kind of randomized so just kind of pull them around make sure you got them where you want them they're just kind of flowing throughout that resin looking beautiful and sparkling all right take your toothpick and from that purple you're just going to kind of swirl it into the clear color so that way it um, just kind of blends a bit better for that beach effect that we got going on a little bit later spray with alcohol and then we're going to allow that some time to cure all right so while that's curing what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some raw amethyst and some soapy water I'm using dr. Bronner's um, just plain unscented um, Castile soap and I'm just cleaning off each of these crystals individually one by one using a toothbrush as well so it's like a soft little toothbrush it just helps get the little dirt off because the, like I said these are raw they're not tumbled um, and that's really going to be important for the effects that we're going here with this mountain range and everything so as you can see I'm just making sure that I get all this extra dirt and dust and debris off and get them nice and clean and sparkly so they'll be ready and have time to dry for our project because we don't want to have to sit around and wait for the crystals to dry <laughs> if we don't need to and so yeah just go ahead and you know take your time make sure you get all of them clean and get all of that um, dirt off of there now of course as many of you know I do have mystery boxes where I do plant um, add plenty of these crystals and things like that for you to work with your resin pieces so if you're interested make sure you hit the link below to my Etsy store and you'll be able to pick out a box that works for you I have different sizes and different themes so definitely check that out but yeah so I just went ahead and rinsed those crystals off and then I'm just gonna let them dry and sit aside for later from here after I let that resin cure you're just going to go ahead and clean the exposed mold parts with alcohol and any um, like fallout that did like little droplets or anything that got on there you're just going to go ahead and pull those off. Now that same mica powder that you use to dust the edges the corners of the mold um, in the first step you're going to use that same thing and you're just going to kind of go around the edge of these circle parts where the candle sits of this candle holder mold so it's okay if it's a little bit of a brushed effect it's not supposed to be super super neat so that is completely fine if um, you know it does you know not 
create a perfect circle unless that's what you want if you do you know by all means go for it but that's not what I'm doing here I'm really just trying to make sure that I don't get any dust onto that center part so that's the only thing that I am really concerned about um, with this particular step all right so this is where you see me you know kind of use my alcohol and a um what's this called a q-tip <laughs> okay alcohol and a q-tip and from here i'm just cleaning up around the sides i'm also using that little eyelash thingy you know whatever that old school makeup brush that nobody really uses for makeup anymore and if you do i am so sorry i'm not trying to be rude but anyway moving on we're going to go ahead and prepare 80 milliliters of resin and from here you're going to add white mica powder glitter and your opaque alcohol ink and you're just going to get those stirred up in there really really well you guys know i like to add just a little bit of the resin first and you know mix those colors in really really well so i can make sure they're dispersed well and then from there i add in the remaining resin so that way that helps to not get any clumps in there and it also helps with air bubbles later so it's just you know definitely a step that I recommend if you prefer a bubble free casting all right so just keep adding in until you get to the colors that you want and that you're going for and everything make sure it's exactly how you like it and you want it nice and dark so that way it's not able to see through like that's really key here we don't want anyone to be able to see straight through this um tray casting so after you get it mixed up and whatnot just go ahead and pour that into your mold and on top of that other layer make sure it's nice and smooth and you don't have any bubbles trapped feel free to go through with that heat gun if necessary spray with alcohol and we're going to allow that to cure for 24 hours after that cures 24 hours we're just going to go ahead and mix up about 25 milliliters of resin and from there you're just going to add a doming layer on top because we want to make sure that this is scratch proof as well so this is just going to add another layer of thickness because those um crystals you know they do hold a little bit of weight and everything so this is just going to make sure that this can actually be a nice foundation for this mountain range get in with that heat gun to make sure this is completely even is very important and also spray that alcohol and let that cure all right once everything is nice and hard you're going to go ahead and wiggle this from your tray mold so pull at the edges of course and then from there you'll be able to kind of flip the mold up and then be able to remove the casting from the mold as you can see me doing right here all right so this is what we have here this is our base now if you were going to leave it like this you could but i would definitely suggest putting a doming layer on top because like i said a lot of these amazon molds come in looking a little raggedy sometimes but we're building on this so it's okay um so from here you're just going to go ahead and kind of line up those amethyst pieces that you had washed out off earlier and set aside to dry they should be completely dry by now because this took a little while to um, do the cat the resin part of the casting um, but yeah you're just gonna go ahead and plan it out figure out where you want it and how you want everything to sit and then once you have a general idea you're going to start adding the e6000 glue onto the bottom of the crystals now you do want to add enough so that way it has a nice strong bond but you don't want to add too much to where it's just kind of um you know like dripping off the sides and everything because it's going to be really tacky and you don't want that you don't want the glue to peek out um but yeah so just be as clean as you can now if it does come out just a tad like that's fine because there are going to be more layers put on top but you don't want just big hunks of glue sticking out and that's really what i'm trying to say here so yeah just keep building on adding on these amethyst um stones and crystals into a mountain range formation along that outer edge and like I said, don't forget, you can also get some of these crystals and everything along with a lot of stuff that I'm using in this tutorial in my mystery boxes. So don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. So that way you're able to get one of your mystery boxes and see what's in there for you. I want to see what you guys create. So also make sure you tag Bougie Hippie Tutorials because I love to see it. 
all right so after you go ahead and get all that set up you're going to let that dry completely let it dry let it dry take your time um, after that get your liquid latex so that we can go ahead and protect the parts that we are not going to want sand on so we want to make sure that everything is nice and pristine so we're going to add this liquid latex layer onto the parts that we want to protect which is going to be the inside of those candle holders and also um, on most of the white part of um, the tray and also that gold area as well so that way nothing seeps over there and just let that dry once it's dry you can go ahead and start adding on your sand now I'm using Mod Podge um, layer to attach the sand and then I'm just like kind of spooning it on top. This sand is actually just regular white sand that I colored with alcohol ink. Um, I might do something like this in a tips and tricks video um, that I have planning coming up for you guys so that way you can see how I do it. Um, but it's important that you like kind of layer in this way with the Mod Podge because if you are going to be using um, the alcohol ink Keep in mind that it can um, kind of mix with the glue so that's why I suggest doing it like this and working in small spaces so that alcohol ink doesn't mix into the glue and create like this this messy looking look that you really don't want all over and get into the cracks get in between the crystals as well you want to make sure that this is built up nicely it's going to be a nice foundation for the rest of the mountain canvas that we will be working on once this dries. Alright hippies, so once that sand dries, what you're going to do is you're just going to take this acrylic spray and a sheet of paper. I'm using the sheet of paper to kind of shield the amethyst because I do not want it to get on there, especially with this being matte. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I spray this sand to kind of seal it into place and that's just going to help with the next steps that we got coming up later. And it's going to help prevent any alcohol ink from um, transferring onto anything else as well. So that way it's not just coloring things all willy nilly like you didn't want. <laughs> All right, let that dry, of course. And once it's dry, you're able to go ahead and move on to your next step. So we're bringing this E6000 glue back out. And this time we have some smaller amethyst chips. Now these are tumbled, so I did not have to um, rinse them off or wash them like you see me do previously. So there's no extra residue on them. And what I'm doing is I'm starting with the larger pieces and then I'm just adding E6000 glue. I'm using a toothpick, I'm using my nails, I'm using the nozzle. I'm using everything here to kind of get <laughs> the effect that I need to get. Um, but I'm basically just gluing all the stones into place and making sure there's not a whole lot of excess and everything. And building up this mountain range the best um, to mimic a natural, natural, uh, natural mountain range I can. So yeah, you're just going to keep going and going and get everything how you want it. Make sure you're comfortable with the look and what you're going for. But don't build it up too much because you don't want to completely cover this sand because that defeats the purpose of putting it there. And it's supposed to be like this mountain beach um moon ethereal thing that we got going on here i really don't know exactly but it just came to me and i'm sharing it with you guys this is actually going to be a personal piece for me but i will be offering them custom on my shop so you'll be able to order one of these on CourtneyShavante.com and I can personalize it to you. Um, I can put any symbols or really any words or whatever that you want um, within these spaces. So definitely, you know, make sure you reach out. You, you know, I'm here for you guys. I love making different birthday gifts, anniversary gifts. I get a lot of requests for stuff like that. So I'm definitely your girl. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm spending this up a bit because it does take me a while to build this up. But I want you guys to kind of see like what I'm doing as I'm doing it so that we can see how I'm building up this mountain range.
all right so after you let that dry we're going to come in with our charms so what you see me using here is a little nail dotting tool i also have some tweezers a toothpick and just a whole bunch of other different things um so that way i could you know do what i need to do here i'm also going to be using uv resin as sort of like an adhesive for these i have some shells and some um starfish that i'm going to be adding on to um, these mountain ranges and everything sort of like they're just like kind of sitting there just to kind of further enhance this whole mountain beach look that I'm going for and it just adds a little more contrast and some more colors and everything and I really like to bring that gold in in different areas as well I just think it's absolutely beautiful like kind of how this meshes and how it looks together so I'm going to speed this up a bit because it's kind of the same for each one and you should just kind of use your judgment with this part and just um, see where you kind of like to place it. Where does it look naturally? Like um, don't clump them up all in one spot unless you know you like that. Do whatever you like basically here. And I'm just going to add some um, you know of the UV resin and I'm also adjusting using the toothpick. Now when you're using UV resin, it is very pliable and it's able to be worked through for a while unless you're working in sunlight. So don't work in direct sunlight and it won't set on you until you come through with your UV light or your black light and you'll be able to make sure that everything stays in place. All right, so yeah, I'm just going through, continuing to add all those in and everything. And then, of course, like I said, I come through with that black light, my trusty black light, and I'm just letting that cure. Now, I like to be extra sure with my curing and everything, so I'm going to sit that in the sunlight. I let it sit there for a day or so. And then from there, I just went ahead and grabbed my rhinestones now rhinestones are also something that i put into all of my mystery boxes and everything so it's one of the um, base options you get a whole yard um even with the base package so definitely make sure you check that out because like it's really really cute to add into your resin pieces but essentially what i did was i just measured a piece of the rhinestone chain across the um circle the outside circle of these candle holders and then I cut five of them into that same size and then I'm adding resin into each of these candle holder holes just a little bit because you don't want to overfill it because then it won't be a candle holder so you want it to actually hold the candle and then from there I'm placing the rhinestone chain inside and adjusting it using my stir stick or toothpick or whatever it is that's comfortable for you and that you do have handy and on hand Make sure that the rhinestones are facing upwards and that um, they're connected at the edges so that way it creates this more seamless effect in everything. All right, perfect. So now that I've gotten that into place, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my foils and I'm just adding a foil into each candle holder slot. They started getting stuck on my little board so I had to pick it up and move it off camera. I actually had to go um, cut one up right quick so that way I could get it added on here but yeah so <laughs> like some things think sometimes things happen when you're in here creating but you know you gotta work with it luckily I cut off a whole I cut up a whole um, I'm sorry printed off a whole sheet so I had some extra ones but I wasn't gonna use this particular symbol but it still works out for me it represents beauty and hello I am considering myself a beautiful woman so I like that it represents that and I was able to go with it although I don't like last minute change but moving on adding more resin and I'm pushing each of these foils down using a stir stick and just making sure everything is set exactly how I want it into place because once this resin sets you know you will not be able to move these foils. Right, so I went ahead and mixed up a little bit of white resin with some glitter I made sure it's nice and chunky and thick so I waited 30 minutes for that to cure. And then I'm just going to add this on top of my mountain range so that way I can add like this little kind of uh, iridescent snow effect and I think it's really going to be really pretty because I know a lot of mountain tops like even the desert like you know wherever you go they always have snow on top so we're adding snow because we want it to be realistic. 
so this is realism meets fantasy inspired by nature i'm really inspired by nature over here to be honest i'm inspired by a lot of nature i'm inspired by like sacred geometry and things like that i love ancient symbolism and ancient societies like i'm a huge nerd i sit around watching documentaries all day like it's really a passion of mine but yeah so i'm just putting that on top of each of the mountain tops and you know don't add too much because you don't want it to drip down too far but it is going to drip some just so that way it looks natural because you know that's just kind of what the mountains do they drip the snow down the mountain tops and then after you finish with this you're just going to allow it some time um oh wait no we're not gonna allow time to cure yet what you're going to do is you're going to get your gold glitter we're going to use a very very fine glitter and then we're going to lightly dust this on top of each mountain range using a spoon so be very careful you don't want to be heavy-handed and then from there that's when we're going to allow this some time to cure all right hippies so now that that's had a chance to cure we're going to go ahead and flip it over right quick because we need to add some protective rubber bumpers because you know i'm very serious about protecting my furniture and also you guys' furniture because you know we invest a lot into these pieces and we don't need it you know getting scratched up just because we need something cute so this is going to make sure that everything is nice and even and there is nothing that's going to mess up the surface definitely make sure you flip it over and test it and then once it's secure you are good to go da 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 isn't she absolutely stunning you guys i am so in love with this candle holder like oh my gosh like i'm so happy that this idea came to me and i was able to execute it exactly to like how i wanted it and everything minus that one little symbol but we won't get into that but oh my goodness look at this mountain range it's absolutely stunning i love how this amethyst looks i love how this snow looks on top with that gold glitter dust like it's just setting at night and the sun's or the moon is just like hitting it perfectly i love how these starfish and these seashells look and everything look at how the rhinestones and these foils just glimmer and it's just absolutely stunning um, I hope you guys like loved this tutorial as much as I loved creating it. I truly created this one from my heart. If you have any feedback, questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you do leave those below. And of course, like I said, I will be making these custom with whatever stones that you prefer and whatever colorways that you do like on my website. So make sure you go to CourtneyShavante.com to check that out and yeah like just enjoy this masterpiece right here hippies and until next time i'll catch you guys later xo